Right. So here we here we are. We're here, and I've got an announcement. Big announcement. Never thought I'd say this, and never thought I certainly didn't think I'd be saying it to you guys, revealing it um, to the you know the nations of the world, whoever. I'm gay. <laughs> no, I'm not gay. You thought I was, I didn't. You? Oh, I know. A little bit can that can happen. I was living a lot. No, I'm, honestly, I'm not gay. That's. I mean, I've got no problem. I, sometimes I think I might be gay. He's gay. I mean, he's gay. Excuse me. He's blind. I think men are great. Um, but uh, that was a joke. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, I'm in the team X over on the Captain's That is right. All cut. Actually, getting that. All cut. He's going to Wembley, people. I'm going to Wembley. I am a part, I am happy to announce that I am a part of the EXO squad. And I've got some good news here, which I've just given you. The fact that the opportunity to maybe play at Wembley is something that might happen, which I'm buzzing about. And I'll get to that a bit more in a second, but I've got some bad news as well. And uh, I don't know how to say this. Uh, I'm fat and I'm fit. I mean, actually, maybe there is a way of showing you. Hang on a second. Okay, around women, around women, or, or people I want to impress, right? Normally, just give you the, just give you the real deal here, the good stuff. But you didn't expect this, did you? The start of the video. But I can be honest. I'm trying to impress people. Truth. I'm trying to impress people. Just be. It's like it's like David Brent, isn't it? So well. Uh, oh yeah. Truth. I'm fat. To play at Wembley is something that is uh, it's bigger than than people can probably imagine and it's something that for me, someone who's played football every single year for my, for, since I was four and a half, five years old, to play at Wembley, I know it's, you know, it's obviously not professional or anything like that, but to be able to play at Wembley in front of a crowd, to be given that opportunity by Lawrence and Brian and Adam Boltwood and Will and all the guys who are going to be sorting out XLFC this this year uh, is is really cool, you know. It's really really cool. But look, so when I think about it, I think it's a dream come true. It's getting to that time where I'm kind of you starting to think, oh, should I play? Last year uh, I played the whole season, and at the end of it, I was starting to think, look, I'm married now. Is this something I want to be doing? Uh, have I got time to do it? I'm also trying to do a channel, trying to be successful, trying to be successful at work as well, of course. So, did I have time for football? And now this has turned up. Um, it's it really is honestly a dream come true. I've got less than two months now to get in shape, to be the best I can be. For, for this, this is this is Wembley. I've always looked at like Soccer Aid and all these things where these guys get this opportunity to play in front of a huge crowd and get to be a, like get to be a, a proper footballer for a day. And, and I, I'm buzzing at the opportunity of it. That's where the the bad thoughts come into my mind. Dread, the possibility to be humiliated, losing, not winning, all those things. EXO are going to be the underdogs, they're going to be huge underdogs going into this and it's going to be a, a massive ask for them to do anything in it really because we don't have the we don't have the teams that the other teams have. We've got a good set of players and a, a team that's going to work hard for each other and hopefully that can take us somewhere. But let's let's have it right. We are huge underdogs to get anywhere in this in this competition. And so, with that in mind, I looked at myself and I looked at this opportunity as one of the last kind of big opportunities maybe in my football career, if I can call it that. And I thought this is such an amazing opportunity. What can I do? Well, one thing I can do is sort myself out. I got married last year and I got in decent shape for that. I was I was, I was doing well. I had the motivation. But since then, you know, I've fallen off a cliff. Yeah, I'm fat. I, I this is probably this is fat as I've been. And blokes are lucky. You can kind of hide some of it. And obviously, like, there's a lot here and a bit there. But if I keep my chin up, it's fine. Um, but I'm not fit. I'm not in good shape. And I want to play centre midfield for XO at the Wembley Cup. And so. That leads me to what I'm going to be doing for the next month and a half in the lead up to the Wembley Cup and I'll be doing it on this channel and I kind of need it for the motivation. To be honest, it's just to give me a kick up the arse and put the pressure on. What I'm going to do is I've put together a sort of diet plan. That's been the big problem for me in terms of like being just a chubby bloke. <laughs> chubby bloke, chubby teenager, chubby child. It's generally chubby. 
and it's the food. It's the portion sizes. So that's the first thing I need to sort out. My mate Craig, he's got in great shape for his wedding. And he says it's all about the food. So I put together a diet plan. I'm gonna try and stay on that. Uh, you can see that here now that it's just a week at the moment, but I've got to stick with it and try and be careful with it. Second thing is I need to start exercising. No shit, Sherlock. But I like to work hard for the team. I'm a bit of a loud mouth. I like to organize, I like to help the team. And I've been captain of a, a lot of teams. And that's kind of the player that I, I am. I'm like a sort of really low rent Michael Carrick. That would be the dream. Uh, actually, Perlo would be the dream, but I probably got a bit more running in me and a bit more fight than Perlo because I haven't got the same quality. I mean, of course I haven't. But as a centre midfielder, I need to get in shape for what a midfielder is going to need because if you look at these other teams, look at hashtag, look at their midfield, look at Rebels midfield, and these are teams and players who are younger than me, fitter than me, faster than me. <laughs> this isn't good. Uh, thinner than me, <laughs> probably got more skill than me, but have they got the same desire? Maybe, maybe they do. But I need to do everything in my power to get myself ready for it. So playing centre midfield for XO is gonna be a really daunting challenge, but I think it can be also be an area where we can do some do some real damage because we've got a lot of good centre midfielders. And even to get in the XO team is gonna be really, really difficult. I probably should have started a week ago, really, because that was the two month mark. But I, I was on holiday. I did try and give it a go. And I think that's the other thing I probably will see, I'm hoping we'll see, is that it's just getting started with these kind of things and hopefully I can get myself to the target which is just to be fighting fit, just to be in great shape, to lose weight, to lose a decent amount of weight and to give myself the best chance to help XO FC shock the world at the Wembley Cup. At the moment my head, my heart and my legs are thinking three different things. This is the first part of this vlog, journey, whatever. I'll, I might have two parts, three parts, but obviously it's gonna culminate in me being at Wembley. So I just wanted to set out my stool and let you know that I am in XOFC. Once again, let me show you. I'm very proud of this, yeah. Very proud to be wearing it. Very proud to be representing XO. And uh, I'm just buzzing for this. And I've got the motivation to get myself going, get myself ready for it. I'm gonna be running, I'm gonna be cycling, I'm gonna be going down the gym. I'm gonna try and get myself in shape for November 25th, the Wembley Cup, an opportunity that I've never had in my life before and I might not get again. And I just wanted to let you guys know. So if you wanna follow me on this journey, then follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and most importantly, subscribe here. I'll be giving you guys some updates uh, when the time feels right, once I've got something together that you guys can hopefully enjoy and there's a bit of a story there to it. Um, as we get closer and closer to November 25th, the Wembley Cup, at Wembley. Let's have it.